Good morning. Just woke up. <clears throat> Just woke up. It is Thursday, I think. It's time to get the day started. First things first, gonna go downstairs and get some breakfast going. I'm starving. I'm in need of some coffee. You guys know, that's like my fave part of the day. Let's go do breakfast. Breakfast. My eggs look a little scary. I put too much chili pepper seasoning on them, but that's okay. Coffee. I'm watching my girl Haley on TikTok. She goes live every morning and does a morning scripture read, prayer, and then just an open discussion for an hour. I super love it, so I watch that most mornings. But you guys, okay, so I showed this in my last video, which was my kitchen organization, that I was using a new almond milk. Sorry, she's kind of loud. It's the Simply Brand Almond Milk. And I bought it because the ingredients are like way cleaner. But because it's all natural, it separates. And I don't know if you can tell. It's like, it separates even when it's mixed into my coffee. And so it's like before every sip I take, I have to thoroughly mix it. And I don't know how I feel about that. Is that worth for the ingredient swap? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. This is only my second time having it. I do like the way that it tastes and I do like its cleaner ingredients, but it spooks me out when it separates in my coffee and just looks weird. Just getting ready for the day, but I had a question. Okay, so when I get ready, I turn on a YouTube video or like a podcast or whatever, but typically YouTube videos. And it got me thinking, what else do you guys watch for YouTube? Obviously, if you're answering, that means you watch me, but like what else do you guys watch? Like, do you always watch vlogs and like clean with me stuff or do you switch it up and watch popular people like Emma Chamberlain? I do watch her. Um, I used to listen to her podcast but kind of straight away after some things she said recently. But yeah, like, let me know. What else do you guys watch? I'm curious. I watch a lot of Love Meg, which is a lot of similarities to my channel. She focuses more on, like, keeping the home clean, decorating, recipes. Who else do I watch? I've been watching Tati because Tati's finally back. She does makeup. I'm not into makeup, like, at all, but I just love Tati's vibe, so I watch her. I'm trying to think. Okay, I watch Cody Ko for comedy. It's so hard nowadays. You know what, you guys? I think, I'm just gonna put this out there. There, don't get mad. I think that people talk too much about their opinions online. Now, hear me out. I'm talking more so referencing current political situations. Now, I understand that they are important to talk about, absolutely, but I've had a hard time finding outlets of things to just watch and hang out with that are not turning into political conversations. You guys know what I mean? Like even Cody Ko, I was trying to watch him and Kelsey's videos and they keep bringing up stuff about the pandemic. And I'm like, can we just have some comedy here? I just want some comedy, I get it. We all know what's going on in the world, we get it. Now for Instagram, that might be different. I have been sharing a lot of that stuff on my Instagram, so I get that. It's easier to share sources, share information on Instagram. But when I click on a YouTube video that states it's gonna be like a that's cringe or whatever kind of video i don't expect to hear about your vaccine you know i don't know maybe that's just me but what do you guys watch or listen to for entertainment purposes because i feel like i have also recently been unfollowing a lot of people not because their opinion differs from mine but because of the way that they handle their difference of opinion i am all for having conversations and explaining our opinion and sharing your information and sharing your opinion. I'm all for that. But what I am not for is slandering the opposing side or completely disregarding someone's facts they've laid out for you or just anything like that. It's, it's when the respect factor is lost and when it becomes more about belittling than sharing information, that's when I'm like, oh, done there. So I've, I have unfollowed a lot of people recently and then I've also unfollowed people who are basically broadcasting and what is the word I'm looking for? Basically people who are sharing and recommending, I would say, their spiritual journey because it differs from mine. And I do think that is something to be more careful about. I think uh, a, a spiritual religious journey is, is, is very different than a political opinion. So personally for me, I have been unfollowing those people to 
basically guard my heart and my mind and what I believe is is correct and true but I do it with no bad intentions so yeah I don't know that's just kind of where I'm at so I've been struggling with finding people to watch or listen to just for entertainment purposes I think every every podcast I listen to now is either a religious podcast or a political podcast and sometimes you just want something to laugh at or just mindlessly listen to you don't always want to be cognitively like I can't find a word for anything today. My mind is gone. But you guys know what I mean. I don't have to keep explaining it. You know what I mean. I will see you guys when I'm ready. My lips have been so chapped. Thank you to Truality for sponsoring today's video. Yay! Okay, you guys, check out my awesome hat. So Truality is a newer company. I will have their Instagram link down below, but I want to tell you about them a little bit because I am so excited and so proud. And I think this is an awesome, 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 awesome company. So I've got my hat. I also have a hoodie, which I will try on for you guys in a quick second. Truality is a clothing brand. Their main focus is mental health. I I truly think mental health is something we are all aware of and I think we all have a discussion about mental health and a lot of people are being more open about their mental health and I think that's amazing but I think one thing we lack is actually supporting mental health awareness groups and businesses so that's why i love truality a portion of every order goes to mental health america so that is cool you know that when you are making a purchase you are also donating to mental health america now i don't know if you guys have noticed but very slowly i have been transitioning my closet what i mean by that is i am really focusing on buying clothes with a purpose what i mean by that obviously this supports a good cause i also so love when clothing has a specific logo or a saying on it that catches people's eyes and then someone can go hey what's that mean on your hat or hey explain what this says on your shirt and then that gives you the opportunity to share something that you stand for that you believe in and I think it's an amazing ripple effect and I think this is absolutely going to happen with Truality and I'm so excited to see where it goes so big thumbs up I will have all of their information linked down below you guys can check it out on Instagram and their website and for the rest of August if you buy two shirts you'll get one hat free I have a few different hat options you don't have to get the one that I got this comes in like eight or nine colors there's so much to choose from I loved a good just like tan color and then I also do free shipping on all orders over $100 so if you're looking to jazz up your closet with something that has purpose and meaning you can go ahead and get free shipping with $100 huge huge thank you to Truality for sponsoring this video like I said it's something I believe in and I think it's a really great cause I'm gonna try on the hoodie for you guys really quick y'all they weren't playing this quality is honestly fire it's super soft y'all know this material is so comfortable in a hoodie i did get a size large so that it would be nice and oversized i cannot wait to wear this into fall and winter it's gonna be so cozy it says be your truth and then the back the back has their logo on it hopefully you can see that I want to get a little bit of decluttering done in our master bedroom where I am right now. If you've been following along, you know that I have been doing some major decluttering and reorganizing before we go on our trip, which is rapidly approaching. The reason I'm doing it, it has nothing to do with the trip specifically. My family does come and stay here while we are gone, and I am a perfectionist, clean freak, and neat freak when it comes to other people seeing our house. With that being said, that is why I feel like I have to get everything in perfect order before or we leave because someone else will be living here if that makes sense so i did the entire kitchen the last three days monday through wednesday was the kitchen but today i want to hit the bedroom mostly just our nightstand and then the closet if i have time so here's a little bit of decluttering cleaning organizational motivation for you hope you enjoy it on this thursday and um gross that's the hair anyway real life <laughs> Cheers, love you.
Zachary took my car yesterday to go get an oil change. The front bumper was falling off, so we got that fixed. Not by my doing. Balanced the tires. I don't know. He got a bunch of stuff done on it. And that means all my mirrors, my seat, everything is no longer where I like it. And I can never get it back to the perfect position. It takes so long. Also, is this weird? So when they took, he took my car, they needed to reset something on the dash as far as the tires saying they were off. So they needed to use a code reader. Oddly enough, they used my code reader that was in my console. I just happened to have one because my last car, I needed one constantly to get a smog check. I always had a code reader. They used the one that was in my car and I only know that because they didn't put it back in the console. They left it on the seat. Don't you think that's weird? Why are you using my tools? You are literally a car service. Shouldn't you use your own tools? And why were you in my console in the first place? I don't know. Maybe I'm just being annoying, but I think that's weird and I don't think they should have done that. I am heading out to get my blaze oh fedex is here i guarantee you fedex is for me too i think we're supposed to have spike's food delivered today we're stocking up on his food since we'll be gone for a week i think he has a plethora but we always like over prepare does anyone else get so paranoid about like delivery people i'm like they're in a labeled truck and they have their tag and they have all their gear on for the company but like what if they're just a sketchy person and they're not actually with the company. That's where my brain goes every single time. He just walked past me in my car. This is awkward. Whatever, we're safe. He was actually from FedEx. I'm leaving. I'll see you guys when I get my pizza. Got my pizza and I will be enjoying in the car today. I like to eat it hot. It's just literally not the same. Then you take it home. Yum. I don't even remember everything I got. Red sauce, goat cheese, bacon, banana peppers, fresh basil, chopped garlic, jalapenos, mushroom, red onion, spinach, arugula, oregano, sea salt, and olive oil drizzle. Yep. Oh, sorry. Did you want a bite? Yeah, I devoured that. I've never gotten goat cheese there before, and it was fire. It's hot in the car with no AC. Question, have any of you guys done Instacart? I've thought about doing it for some money, and I actually signed up. I just haven't done it yet. They haven't given me the card in the mail, but if you've done it, let me know what you think, and I can definitely vlog it for you guys, too, the first time I go, So I'm at least gonna try it out, because I also was gonna try Amazon Flex, which is delivering, literally, Amazon packages, but that worries me more because you take a whole like a whole car full of people's packages from the warehouse and you go and deliver them at once versus doing instacart you just grab groceries for one person and deliver it to the one person so you're only doing like one thing at a time i'm scared to like commit to an entire collection of deliveries does that make sense like i don't want everyone's stuff in my car at the same time like god forbid something happened i don't know that just stresses me out they both pay about the same if you break it down per hour so that's cool between like 16 and 20 dollars i would say depending on the route and the batch and all of that shall we go back home and clean out the closet I think we should. I'm not so much working on the clothes, which is your typical closet clean out, but all of the stuff above the clothes. What in the world? Somebody wants the toy, huh? I'll give you the toy. You just got a new toy, but I'll give you this one. Actually, where's your dinosaur? <laughs> where's your dinosaur? Can you show the vlog your dinosaur? <laughs> Let's show them your dinosaur and then you can have that toy. Y'all, how cute is this little guy? How cute is he? Here you go. <laughs> you don't even want him because you want the other toy. You are insane. Shit. Good boy. Here you go. Let me make it clear to you guys that he already has that toy. <laughs> It's literally a duplicate. You're so funny. Okay, enough stalling. Let's fix this closet.
going by so much faster than I expected to. I'm practically done. The last thing I want to go through is this pile of picture frames. And I don't really remember what all is here. So I thought we could like look at some fun ones together and see what we find. Excuse me. Watch out. Go get your toy. Cute. This was homecoming, possibly junior, but I think senior. I honestly can't even remember. I think senior though. Wow, the lighting in here is terrible. How cute is this? Ah, oh, we were such cutie pies. Can you believe that was, how long ago was that? We graduated in 2016, it's 2021. Five years. Uh, can you go? Thank you. Oh my gosh, I think this is from Catalina. We bought this on Zachary's graduation trip and we never put a picture in it. Oh, this is literally, I want to say this was our first or second time ever hanging out. It was early on in our relationship, like maybe one, two months in. Zachary's mom, him and his sister. This lighting could not be worse. It couldn't. That's youngins. You can tell this is my bedroom. You can always see the American flag hanging. <laughs> Here's another. We took this when we were on a camping trip. My parents used to have a trailer, so we would go camping with my family. This picture is so cringy. <laughs> I hate that we have this y'all why did this is the epitome of high school for us that is not cute <laughs> oh my goodness this is a photo i took of zachary i think it was prom either prom or homecoming can't remember but it was the top of the world restaurant and we've been there twice together and i just loved this photo okay but since this is none of this is going back up top i can show you a finished project we still got all these boxes i don't have a better place for them so they're gonna be staying that's cleared out that has been touched up i put the suitcase in this corner because it was really heavy up here it was actually bending the you can see right here it messed up the shelf shelf is completely empty except the iron which is with the ironing board so i'm happy with this i think i still don't love this but i genuinely don't have another place to keep all of these boxes for like lego sets electronics camera so it's all just kind of there first of all good morning second of all Did you hear it? Did you hear it? Smoke detector needs a new battery. Oh man, I have no idea how people ignore their smoke detectors for so long. Like I literally considered getting up in the middle of the night, even though no stores were open, to go buy one to replace it because it was driving me absolutely insane. They're doing the beeping thing at like 3 a.m. Apparently we have an extra in the garage, so Zachary will do that as soon as he gets home because I don't know how to do it or else I would. I don't want to mess anything up. Also, I'm breaking out so bad. These two bumps right here are painful. Spike is not a fan of the smoke detector either. What are you talking about? Anyways, with all of that being said, happy Friday. I have the most to get done that I want to do nothing. I have to show you guys something. Don't make fun of me. We are in the process of decorating our living room. I'm just filming a whole separate video on that, but it turns out we don't know what the heck we're doing. <laughs> We have put multiple holes in the wall and filled them multiple times. Yeah, the, the pictures still aren't straight. They're not in line with each other. I'm just gonna show you. What we're trying to do is put a picture here and a picture here, and I want them stacked right on top of each other, centered on this section of the wall, and obviously be hung straight. That has proven to be a lot of work. <laughs> we do have two screws in the wall now. Those are actually level, but you can see all of the other holes we've made that have been patched. So basically, I'm gonna grab our wall paint, cover these patches so that uh, it'll be like new to try to go ahead and do the lower one. And hopefully we can get that figured out so we can put the other two pictures over on this wall where they're supposed to be. So we'll have two and two. Now, before you say, 
just measure use a level we have tried two different levels that we own and this house just like regular old levels they're they don't work it is crooked. There, it's literally crooked. We tried to use it in the bathroom. We did the bathroom reno. Crooked. So we eyeballed everything in there and it actually worked out fine. We tried those levels again for this. Crooked. We even borrowed Zachary's dad's level with a laser to be able to line it up, draw our marks, and drill holes. Crooked. Is my house crooked? Maybe. That could be the issue. y'all tell me what's wrong with this picture this section here is from the last time we patched because the previous owners had shelves hanging here so we took them down patched up the holes and painted over tell me why you can still see the paint and i completely forgot about it because we've had this mirror hanging there so now i'm realizing everywhere we just painted it's going to look like that i really thought i was going to be starting with a fresh wall <laughs> Oops, I guess it is what it is at this point and if worse comes to worse We will just have to completely paint the wall which is so much work so much work Oh my gosh, I hate painting entire rooms and walls, but oh well, I guess well Like I said, it is Friday, so it's time to start the weekend vlog So I'm gonna leave y'all hanging here, but make sure you come back to watch the weekend vlog I love you all so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye